our second to last game. This game's good. This game's good. There it is. Snake. Rattle and roll. Um, you see what they did there? You see what they did there? They're snakes. <laughs> Does this box art slap? Does it do what it's supposed to do? Does it execute? Okay. Now. <laughs> Frank would love this game. <laughs> the roll portion? Um, I, okay. We're gonna go through our checklist here. Is is there action? There's a lot of action going on on this box art. It, it succeeds with action. You got a foot falling down on a blue happy snake. He's got no idea what the fuck's gonna happen to him. His head's gonna get crushed. You got a bomb about to go off next to a big ass red happy snake. He's got no idea what's gonna happen to him. Him and his buddy are gonna get fucking dismembered all over the place. There's a trash can lid being opened somewhere there's anvils falling out of the sky a lot of action they did good on the action um and then just you know graphical uh, this game released 1990 uh, i feel like this looks like shitty ms dos box art this looks like shitty clip art computer game box art you know like it's not not really appealing as far as like visuals go but maybe if you're like i mean good colors i guess I, I guess maybe I don't think the box art hits. I don't think so. I don't think so. Snake Rattle and Roll released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in the States on July of 1990, developed by Rare. We all know them and their accolades. Uh, Nintendo published this game themselves, which is a good sign that Nintendo had faith in the IP. Uh, Rare developer Mark Betteridge. Uh, more known for his work with Goldeneye and Battletoads and Banjo-Kazooie. He challenged himself programming this game during development to make, quote, the smallest file size for an NES game possible, which, interesting self-handicap, not not a good driving force to sell copies. <laughs> like, that wouldn't, that wouldn't make me want to buy the game knowing that somebody like purposely tried to make it as small as possible, but I don't know, maybe not. The, 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 the Much of the game was inspired by the isometric style of Marble Madness, uh, another game that Rare published for the NES earlier the previous year of 89. We will be playing Marble Madness. I do have fond memories of Marble Madness. Um, the high-speed scrolling employed there in Marble Madness was scraped uh, off the plate uh, and into this game because it was the high high speed scrolling was seen as pretty hot shit at the time as Nintendo Power wrote quote many said it was a technical impossibility for the NES I don't know who many are but uh, David Weiss we just heard about him he was our composer here and we all know him from the classic legendary Donkey Kong Country OSTs, but he's also lesser known for his fantastic underrated work in games like RC Pro-M and the Wizard and Warrior series, which we will be getting into next. The, the next game is Wizards and Warriors. Um, fountains of praise uh, for the game upon release for its quote, stunning graphics with beautifully drawn scrolling force perspective 3D backdrops. End quote. That is an actual human sentence. Um, but also uh, lauded for its unique charm, its unique animation, and for its two-player co-op, which back in the day, if you had two-player co-op in your video game, that made you the cock of the walk. Two-player co-op would fucking sell games in whisper campaigns on the playground grounds. Like, just that alone, knowing that you could play co-op with your brother, with your sister, with your friend, complete the single player, not single player, but the campaign mode, campaign mode. They didn't have that shit, but you know. That that sells copies. That, that gets the juices 
a bubbling. Uh, so let's get in there. Let's get in. Some, oh, God, wrong fucking screen. Blah, let's switch over like so. Then do, get in there like so. I gotta get some to drink. You guys played the shit out of this game? Hell yeah, brother. I did too. The music is awesome. It's very, it's very doo woppy fucking 1950s shit. I'll get to it in a minute. Oh, we got rattle. We got That's all you get. You get rattle, you get roll. They're two snacks. Their names begin with R. What do you need, America? <laughs> like, it makes the frogs gay. <laughs> okay. All right, am I moving? Is it smooth? Oh, cursors. Weird, it's got a little fucking lag there. Oh. Right. Hold, hold please. Hold. Let's see if we can, if we can hear any of you know, David Weiss's touch with Donkey Kong Country in this game. Which we won't. Because this is all fucking 1950s doo-wop shit. I can't hear Beef, did you mute him? <laughs> I did. I muted him the big way. I was just like, hey, I'm streaming. Stream by myself. Fuck off. <laughs> I did tell him, hey, come and chat, but I think he's sleeping. Uh, all right, we're back in this shit. We'll get the timer going. All right. Yeah, I'm a snake. <laughs> I'm a snake head. All right, thousand. Oh, my tongue got longer. Manhole. Oh, oh, we got the nibblies. We got the wibblies. Yeah, we can eat. Yum yums. All right. Okay, we got a jump. That's all we need. Movement's a little weird. A little weird. It's isometric, so it's kind of, you know, to be forgivable in that regard. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait. Jaws? Oh, fuck. Something's coming after me. No, oh, it is Jaws. Oh, I like that. A little, little, uh, little doff of the cap there to Jaws. All right, we're gonna eat all the Wibblies. Eat them, eat them. Ah, oh, yeah. Suck them down. Oh shit, oh, what the fuck happened? Bonus. Oh, just like the casino, just like the casino. <laughs> Fucking yeah, bonus, bonus. Yeah, Minor Jim, get fucked. Oh, give me this, give me this, give me this. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, foot! Oh, it's Frank! <laughs> He's doing his kink! He's licking the feet! Oh, look at my tongue! Long as shit! Oh, that turned into a bomb! Don't you fuck with me! Alright, these are just gonna come out forever. I don't think we can get any bigger. Our tail is huge. Oh, give me the yellow one! Oh, give it! Mine! Mine! Oh, God! Oh, shit! Okay, we got the manhole here. All right, the music is a little, a little good. Oh shit! Fuck me! Oh god! Jesus! Oh, get out of there! Get out! Fuck! No, I want my ball. Oh, guys, here you go. <laughs> Minor chip. That's right. Here, guys, I'm gonna give you a sex ed lesson, all right? This is, this is how you please a lady. Just like this. <laughs> Just like that. As hard as you can. As fast as you can. <laughs> like... 
<laughs> so derpy. Yeah, bro. Oh, we didn't- we're still not done? Holy shit! What, we gotta eat more? Is that what it is? Give me that. Give me that. I'll take that. Oh, oh god, blew my shit up. Oh god. Ooh, stab him with the tongue. That's right. That's right. Oh, come on. Eat more than do the scale. That's what we're gonna- yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Get up on- oh, Jesus Christ. What killed me? A spike? A spike is instant death? That sound effect was reused from Marble Madness. That comes from Marble Madness. That little sound drop. I know if you, if your marble falls over into a pit, that's the sound of the place. Because I'm a fucking genius with video game sounds. All right, there it is. We in there, boys? Okay, first impression, pretty good. It's got an arcadey feel to it. Isometric viewpoint makes it a little weird movement. But good, it's good, I like it. Good, uh, good acceleration for the score. Makes you feel like you're actually getting something other than a shitty ass little score screen. Uh, kind of like casino aspects there. Oh, our tongue is so small. How am I gonna get up there? Are you serious? I don't think it's possible. Oh, you probably, oh, you probably gotta go around. Okay, I see. I see. I remember playing this game distinctly, playing a lot of this game with the game Genie. I played this, the uh, fucking, the shit out of this game with the game Genie. Oh, what the hell is this? What is this? What is this again? What does this do? Oh god, oh god, the jump is fucking wonky. It is all over the place. It's kinda hard to play, or kinda hard to jump isometrically though. That's, oh, the fucking bombs, man. Give me, give me the balls. Give me all the balls. All of them. Oh, what is this fucking toilet lid? Bro. Get out of here with that shit. What is, ah, uh, what is, is it crank? The dial? The key? What is that? Okay. Num num. Num num nums. Num num nums. All right. Got it. Got it. No. All right. No. no. Get up. Get up. No. Oh, God. All right. Bonus! A bonus! We back in it, boys. Yum num. Num num nums. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So this is what you played as a kid. Oh, yeah. It explains a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure, for sure, big hungry hippo. Oh God, get in there, get in there. Uh, this is, uh, this taught me about the birds and the bees. I gave us more time, all right, cool. Diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. Oh, fuck me, fuck me. Jaws, he got me. Bastard. Oh, a foot, oh shit. Foot's on a rampage. Frankie's not here to pacify it. Got it, 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 got it. Look at that shit. Broke that shit down. Ooh, extra life. I guess that's an extra life? I don't know, maybe not. Might not be an extra life. Oh god, are you gonna seriously make me jump this shit? What the fuck is this? Okay. Oh god. The waterfall doesn't allow you to jump when you're in it. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, okay. Platforming, not the best. Little, little hard. Little hard to get places. Oh, shit, we're done. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, all right. Get up there. No, 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 no. Oh, God, swim against it. Swim against the current. Like the, like the noble trout. Or salmon. Oh, yeah, get fucked. Thank you. Machine shiny kids with candies in your mouth. That's right. That's how you do. That's how you do. Halloween wasn't enough. Halloween wasn't enough. Did you guys uh, trick or treat as kids? I'm sure you did. Unless you were Amanda and you lived on a compound and uh, they didn't believe in uh, candy costumes or uh, weirdly enough, uh, white sheets. It's weird. Uh, wait, hold on. I could, I could make a joke there, but okay, we'll keep it to ourselves. <laughs> Do you guys remember the worst, uh, the worst, uh, fucking Halloween costume you guys ever had as kids? I, I have one. It, 
It is, it is like trick or treating in Florida fucking sucks because it's so goddamn hot that you can't have any face paint on. Because if you have any face paint on, that shit melts right off. I was, I was a juggalo. I was an ICP shaggy two dope for like three years in a row. And man, this shit fucking melted. Um, my worst uh, Halloween costume was my father being lazy as shit, and he just grabbed some lipstick and like made a squiggly on the corner of my lip and then he fucking slicked my hair back with gel and said I was Dracula and that was it <laughs> that was it <laughs> just mailing it in oh god toilet seats oh fuck me up man must be from public restroom okay we're gonna get oh. I used to work at a haunted house this place is good oh yeah brother holy shit yeah, uh, probably a good Dracula though. I don't know. It was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty ghetto as shit. But you know, you're a kid, so I, at least me, I didn't really care to, that. What is this? Oh, five thousand. I didn't really care so much about the costume as I did getting the candy. I was just like, well, whatever. I'm dressed up as whatever. I don't care. So long as I get candy, net gain. Net gain. Okay, we got this. We got this. What is that? Oh, are you fucking a reverso? It's a reverse card. My controls are all fucked up. You're killing me. Dicks. Dicks. Horrible. Uh, when is a ghost with a white sheet? I'm pretty sure it looks like a Klansman. I said, what's your favorite Halloween costume, Rick? I didn't say what you did last weekend. I'm like. <laughs> Horror themes are my favorite thing and so far, so I figured I like Halloween stuff more. But people make how oh yeah, they well they also make Halloween sexy now. Well, it's been sexy for a while. It's been really sexy for a while. Oh god, they're the, just like everything's like oh sexy nurse or oh sexy uh, Frankenstein or maybe not sexy Frankenstein. I don't know. Maybe it depends. You know what part of Florida you go to. The uh, oh god, toilet seat fucked us up, man. All right, we need balls. We need balls. We need to increase our tail. Oh, that's not gonna do it. I saw the game cover. I should know better. Fuck off, toilet. Come on. Where's our Where's our tails? We need tails. We need tails prowler. Whatever the fuck his name is. Is it prowler? I think it's prowler. We need more balls. Oh, they have legs now. At least that's that's different. They gave him little, you know. The first round was. I don't think the first round had anything. On, oh god, it had anything on. It was just the uh, balls. And the second round was uh, springs. Now they got little feetsies. That's cool. That's cool. Small details, you know. Small details. Oh, fucking toilet seats, man. Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. There we go. Yellow ball. I don't know what yellow ball does. Oh shit, our time's right. Oh, wow, we have no time on this fucking stage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jump. Oh, are we gonna make it? Oh fuck. I mean, if Sexy Frank said his good personality, I'm in. <laughs> For sure, you know? Like, play, play on eight. What the fuck does that mean? Be in there, boys. What is play on eight? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that sound effect that you when you lick the foot. It's so satisfying. Lick the feet! Lick it! Oh fuck! Oh god! Oh man! That foot made us regret our kinks. Oh god. Okay. Alright, get over there. What? Oh, I already opened the door. Okay. I was gonna say, oh, Jesus, don't make me go back. There we go. Nah, that was somebody's advanced for the finish. <laughs> there it is. The sound design is good. Like, even outside of the Mel's Diner soundtrack we got going on here, like, sound design is good. Like, our different sound effects are enough to keep us entertained. Oh, we got a lively doo-wop little ditty going on here. 
Oh shit, the balls turn flat now. And they bounce around. Ah, oh, great. Wonderful. That's cool though. I like that they changed it up. Do -do 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 -do. Oh shit. Oh god. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> it's like, whoa! It's like becoming Super Saiyan? Super, Super Saiyan Snick? Get in my mouth. Thank you. Why is he clipping through that? All right. Oh, did I get hit by that? Oh, fucking spikes! The Super Saiyan of foot fetishes. <laughs> uh, his power is over 9,000. Okay. Eat, eat, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Maybe? Ah, fucking bombs, man. Don't cock tease me. Oh, the foot! The foot's out! Shit! Ah, we need more... We need more tail! God, my tongue is super long. Give it! Give it! Fuck! Alright. I don't... Are the different colors just, uh... Different point values? Okay. All right, don't die. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Play on eight. Or is it play on? Probably play on. That makes more sense. All right. Diamonds. Shining bright like a diamond. Oh god, this went in isometric levels. Just like, okay, guys. You embrace the concept. Oh, fuck off! Get out of here! Foot! Oh, it's a bomb! God damn, dude. Uh, one hit spike kills. No, no iframes. This thing looks like he's going insane. Look at him! He's fucking put into Double Dare Ultimate Challenge here! He's got no idea! It's just like, what the fuck? I'm out, thanks for the great stream. Get out of here, Ricketts. Take care, brother. I will see... You, uh, you people next weekend. For sure. Oh, that's right, you guys got, like, an anniversary, or no, is that tomorrow? No, it's tomorrow, you got, like, an anniversary thing you guys gotta do. Oh, you can, you can lick the blades to death. Look at how long my tongue is. Look at this. Look at the power that I wield. Timer's going off. I want to finish this stage, though. I want to finish this. Uh, how do we get out? Oh, we gotta go across? Is that what it is? No, that's where we came from. Oh god, no one fell for it. They almost tricked me. They almost tricked me. What am I missing here? What am I missing? I gotta be missing something here. Huh. Huh. Oh, God. I'm going to have to do this platforming section again. Jesus. All right. Good there. Good there. Oh, are you fucking serious? God damn, dude. Time to become a speedrunner. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> You're watching it right now unfold. These are the, the speedrun strats. That's my final score? Oh, so you only get, like, what, three continues? Okay. All right. Well, good. Timer went off anyway, so. Uh, back to Nest Talk. Wow, roll sucks. <laughs> yeah, for real. Pick up the weight here, roll. Jesus Christ. Just because you're Mega Man's sister, you think you can just fucking, you know, coast on your laurels? Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Criteria number one. For the 15 minutes in which I played this game, was I entertained? Yes. Thoroughly. Fun, arcadey, weird game. Weird. Very weird. The box art somehow does actually encapsulate what the gameplay is. So, I take back everything I said. I was wrong. <laughs> like, the game is entertaining. Super entertaining. Uh, some parts of the game are a little sussy with challenge. I, I don't think you should die immediately on spikes when you have iframes. It's not right. Shouldn't do that, children. It's very, very irresponsible. But 
uh, game is irrita uh, irritating. Game is entertaining. I, I think I was entertained for sure. Uh, criteria number two. Now that I have played this game, does my memory of this game exist outside the lens of nostalgia? Also, yes. I distinctly remember playing the fuck out of this game, especially when I had the Game Genie because the original game without the Game Genie was too hard. It's too hard. Couldn't beat it. <laughs> like, but with Game Genie, infinite lives and infinite energy and infinite tail beat it all day long. Um, but playing it, my nostalgia was accurate. It's still a good game. Still good. Still legit. I don't think it's necessarily the best showcase for David Weiss's abilities because it's just doo wop fucking Mel's Diner music. But, you know, the other elements of sound, just the sound effects themselves, very good. Like, he did a really good job having distinct and unique kind of sound effects for all sorts of things in the game. So, which is kind of what you need when you have like an isometric puzzler, like your Qbert, so to speak. You know, Qbert doesn't have the longevity that this game does because Qbert is kind of one note, you know. Granted, two different games. I can't really comp or compare them because Qbert is like strictly an arcade game and this is more like a platforming puzzler game. But, you know, that Qbert, the first game I went to when I thought isometric. I mean, my other choice is fucking Super Mario RPG, you know, and obviously that ain't going to fucking work. So I, I can't think of a whole bunch of fucking isometric style view games. Not off the top of my head. Not right now. Not when I've been high all day long today. So anyways, 